Hello world, so here we are, we are going to be installing Docker on our Synology and setting up our first container which is going to be a BookSonic server uh, to serve audiobooks so as I can access my books anywhere. Um, so what is Docker? So let's open the package center, type in Docker and that will bring up the Docker app that we're going to press install on. It looks like a little whale with uh, containers on it. So uh, Docker is a lightweight virtualization application that gives you the ability to run thousands of containers created by developers from all over the world on DSM. Okay, so this is hugely popular. Loads of people are getting into Docker at the moment um, and using Docker for, for industry standard stuff. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go. So just click install on that. It will take about 45 seconds to install. Um, I've only got two gigs of memory in this. I've got an extra four gig on the way for this uh, Synology NAS. Um, supports up to six gig. Uh, it'll probably take more than that to be honest. I'm not sure why they've said um, why well, Synology say it only supports up to six gig because some of the forums do say that it will or does seem to support higher than that. But I'm just sticking with the, the six gig install to to upgrade, and I'll probably put an M.2 in there as well for caching. Um, so it's, I think I'm using the this is the 720 plus. Uh, Synology. So that's all installed and here's the interface. So you can see it states the CPU usage and the current amount of RAM that's installed. So you can see I've got 2 gig currently, I'm using 841 megs um, and we haven't got any containers running at the moment. So we're going to get started by setting up our, our sort of our first container. There's no, You can see there's no containers running. So you're going to go to container uh, registry sorry and you can see here that this is where you can search for different containers I'm going to search for the book sonic image so I want book sonic and there's two images here don't use the first one you want the one that says Linux server book sonic air hyphen air and the reason for that is that's supported and you'll see that little arrow there click that and it takes you to the documentation which is on the um, uh, docker hub and um, what we're really interested in here is um, there's lots of different information here but what we really need to know is the paths and you can see here that volumes we've got a path to app data config forward slash config so basically it means that we need to map this is how we map our audiobook folders so first of all I'm going to install the image by selecting the version I want click select and what that will do is it downloads the image into the, the image tab and then it's currently installing it. So you can see that little blue database is going up in size on the right hand side. That means the image is installing and it's basically uh, sort of getting downloading that image ready for us to use. Um, it is a little bit slow to download, um, but it depends on the size of the images. Uh, Book Sonic, I think, comes in at about 500 meg, um, so about about half a gig. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time. Once the image is downloaded, we will uh, install the image um, and and sort of activate it, I suppose. But we have to set up the different uh, paths. And I know that on a lot of the Book Sonic forums. Um, people using Docker seem to be struggling with this. They weren't sure how to create the the audiobook folders. So what I thought I'd do is, is I'd, I'd talk you through this. Um, essentially, so so it was a bit clearer. So yes, yeah, so it's coming at about 631 meg. Okay, so what you then do is just double click it and it gives you some different things you need to, to do. So the container name, you can name this whatever you want. You can execute the container using high privilege. You do not want to do this, okay, at all. Uh, we're gonna enable auto startup. Uh, don't create a shortcut on the desktop. It causes no end of trouble on the Synology if, if you don't uninstall it. Go to volumes and this is where we have to map our paths and we have to map them in accordance with sort of this. So we need config, audiobooks, podcasts, and other media. So all we do is we add folders, we create inside the Docker folder that will be inside your file station now. You wanna create um, a container for your image, so Book Sonic is what I'm gonna call it. And then with inside Book Sonic, you will create the folders 
um, that you want to use. So for example, I'm going to go with the ones that are, are listed in the documentation, so audiobooks. Um, it, you don't have to use these. There's nothing stopping you to create um, different genres. You could have sci-fi, you could have crime, mystery, whatever you want. You do need the config folder. Okay. Um, podcasts um, is obviously quite a popular choice if you've got lots of podcasts. Um, other media, so you could have music, you could have... Um, there's all sorts of folders you could create here, but you want to create them here. If you don't create them all here and then want one later, you can go, you can stop the container, go back into edit. And we now have to point to the, the paths here. So um, it says here, so obviously wherever the, the path is, the folder, and then forward slash config, forward slash audiobooks, for whatever you've called it. So here I've got the audiobook folder. And then I've done forward slash audiobooks as the path. And you can see my file structure there. So then the config will be forward slash config. And this will become clear in a second once we actually get to uh, Booksonic and once the container's running, is this is how you will tell Booksonic where these folders are. So you'll tell it to go to forward slash audiobooks, forward slash config, for whatever. Okay, so that's why we have to map all of our folders um, that we're using. So again, forward slash other media. Now I, I do I have used Booksonic and I do like Booksonic. There is a there is a bit of an issue with it, um, and that's the fact that I haven't been able to um, on the actual Booksonic server. It, it's I'm having trouble remembering where you are in audiobooks, um, but I think there's a way to resolve that, and I will post a, a video later on. Uh, if, if if you're getting that same issue, then just comment below, and I'll get another video out to you. So we're almost done. We've put all the paths on there um, just remember don't give the container execute as high privilege um, you don't need that okay you want to avoid that all cost networks fine port settings will come back to you later and environments all fine and click apply and next okay and uh, at the moment the the ports uh, just it will generate a random local port we can fix that later on just so it's um, port 4040 uh, for accessing from outside our network. Okay, so that image is now done. Okay, we go to containers, we can see that the actual container is now running. So we actually have Booksonic um, installed and ready to go. I mean, that's super, super quick. If, you know, it's the same to install Apache and, and uh, MySQL. Um, pre-configured really 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 good so we're going to the the file station and the audiobooks folder here and I'm just going to drag in one of my uh, backed up audiobooks and I'm going to put that into this folder here so um, I haven't yeah I've got this one uh, there we go so we got um, Astonishing X-Men Days of Futures Past really good audiobook um, probably one of the best X-Men audiobooks I've got um, okay so that's uploaded and that's in the audiobook folder so we can now test that you can see that the config folder has been auto populated so if you ever want to back up your your container settings you would just literally back up the book Sonic folder and that means you if there's any ever a problem you can just recreate the container drop your config back in and everything's backed up ready to go which is kind of useful especially for stuff like mb or uh, plex if you're using plex um so yeah so that's running so now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to book sonic and to do that you just go to uh, your local NAS address and then the port number that is listed on the container. So for this, mine's 49153. So the default username and password is um, admin and admin. And then you just click sign in and you're into uh, your book Sonic. There's a few things you need to do. You need to change the administration password. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we're going to go up to media folders and we need to tell it what folders to use. You can see here the music folder isn't found because I didn't create one. So I'm just going to change this to audiobooks. And then inside the folder it's going to be forward slash 
um, audiobooks. So exactly like we did with the config files and the podcast, we we mapped it to, oh, uh, we mapped it to a specific um, folder. So forward slash audiobooks. And then if we uh, refresh, once we've saved at the bottom, click save, refresh, you can see that that file not found has disappeared. And that's because it knows that it's there. Okay, we can scan the media folder. Okay, and it takes a few uh, minutes to, to scan depending on the size of your media library. And then we can hit home. Okay, click don't show this again at the bottom um, because we don't need that. And it says how to get this guide back up if you want the guide back up. And you can see there's no audiobooks in our book Sonic, even when I refresh it. And that's causing a few issues. So all you have to do is go to settings, go to users, and you have to assign each user. So select user from the drop down. Okay, so you'll see here and select admin because we're the admin user. And we want to make sure that allow access to the following folders and we want the audiobooks folder save that and now what we can do is go home and you can see we can now see our audiobook so that's another thing that's sort of been coming up where people haven't been assigning their their folders and um, couldn't see it and you can press play and so on um, all you need to do to make this public to the internet is obviously port forward your um, any ports on 4040 to uh, to your NAS, and then that will that should work fine. If you get any problems, comment below, and I'll try to answer your your problems. And in fact, if we drop back to the NAS and we go up to here, we can reopen Docker, and if we go to our containers, and um, we find the Booksonic container, Booksonic Air, we can click that and stop it running. Go to Edit. Give it a second make sure you've selected it and then here you can uh, you can change the settings you can add extra paths for different folders if you want um, but we need to go to port settings and just make sure that the local port is set to 4040 uh, so it's not randomly changing and then you can uh, port forward via your router um, I can't really show you how to do that because everyone's got a different router but should be pretty simple uh, just google port forwarding and your router name so i hope that's helped any problems comment below please 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 right now hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss future videos